ஔவையார் கதையை நம்ம பிள்ளைகளுக்கு போய் சொல்லணும் ராஜராஜ சோழன் வம்சத்தில் வந்த ஒரு சோழர் சோழ மன்னனுக்கு பிறந்த நாள் எல்லா புலவர்களும் போய் மன்னனை வாழ்த்துறதுனா எவ்வளவு வாழ்த்துவாங்க அவ்வளவு நீள நீளமான புகழ் உரைகள் கொடுக்குறாங்க ஔவையார் போகிறா போன உடனே மன்னா வணக்கம் வர புயர அவ்வளோதான் எல்லா புலவர்களும் என்ன ஔவையார் ஒரே ஒரு சொல்ல சொல்லிட்டு வந்துட்டேன் இல்லை மன்னருக்கு அதுதான் பெரிய வாழ்த்து உன்னை மன்னர் கொஞ்சம் பார்க்குறாரு அவை பிராட்டியே நீங்கள் என்ன சொல்கிறீங்க கொஞ்சம் வழக்கமாக சொல்லுங்கன்னு ஏன்பா உனக்கு புரியலையா ஊரெல்லாம் போய் பாரு வரப்ப உயர்த்தணும் அப்புறம் வரப்புயர நீர் உயரும் நீர் உயர நெல் உயரும் நெல் உயர குடி உயரும் குடி உயர கொண் உயரும் நீ வரப்ப உயர்த்தினாதான்ப்பா நீ நல்லா இருப்பேன் ஊசி மாசனத்தில் அப்போ வரப்பு உயர்ந்தால் பண்டிங் ரைஸ் த பண்ட் ரைஸ் த வாட்டர் தண்ணீரோட வாழ்க்கையை இணைச்சி புலவர்களும் பார்த்துக்கிட்டே வந்திருக்காங்க அப்படின்னு ஃப்ரம் ஹியர் ஹண்ட்ரட் கிலோமீட்டர்ஸ் டவுன் சவுத் தேர்ஸ் அ பிளேஸ் கால் கங்கை கொண்டு சோழபுரம் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ சி த எம்ப்ரர் ஓவர் தேர் வென் ஈ கான்சன்ட்ரேட்டட் தட் சிட்டி த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திங் இட் இட் இஸ் ஹி ப்ராட் இன் வாட்டர் ஃப்ரம் ஆல் இஸ் டொமைன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹி போட் இட் இன் டூ அ ஸ்மால் பாண்ட் When I was a kid, I was quite fascinated because I always thought, oh, emperor would be building a huge lake. But then I found, like, you know, it's, it's a small pond. And then I, I just remember the urn which is behind, you know, in the Auroville Lake. You know, we just have a small urn. But, but symbolically, what it showed is, look, there might be differences. But in the, it, in the end, like, you know, we all could be together. Like, you know, we can be seamlessly together. And that is uh, actually the essence of water for me in Auroville. Tamil Nadu is famous throughout the world amongst water geeks. for having a very well established ancient system of columns and water retention so we do have the skills here already you just need to sort of revive them i guess na kodai kodai nu solve avanga siripanga inga kaan appdin solana appo na ketta kaan na tamil sollana appo illa illa ora asriya sonna adu french inorthara sonna illa adu kaan na islam ma vadakka irnu vandirukom appdin sonna illa இது நிச்சயமாக இத்தனை பேரும் பயன்படுத்தக்கூடிய இந்த சொல் இந்த வட்டார சொல் ஆய்வு செய்கிறேன்னு ஆய்வு செய்து ஆய்வு செய்து கடைசியில் நீர் வழி பாதை தமிழில் அதனால் கான் என்கின்ற மகா பழைய சொல்ல அவங்க இன்னும் இந்த பகுதி மக்கள் பயன்படுத்துகிறாங்கிற பொழுது நிச்சயமாக நீர் பற்றிய ஒரு நல்ல புரிதல் இங்கே இருக்குது ஆனால் எங்கேயோ விட்டுட்டோம் எங்கேயோ விட்டுட்டோம் from kaliveli all the way down there is this incredible system of aries right which are the ancient water management bodies dating from the chola times which are all in disrepair but in fact you know ancient india had this knowledge and respect the respect that we don't have right they had the respect for water and they had this whole water management thing right from up there you know respecting the water sheds they knew that and now in our modern day times we we you know it's so sad we don't even know and then we go and do these stupid things like building on the water bodies each one of those blue marks were people made nothing natural about it constructed landscapes constructed landscapes the genius of tamil nadu you know, for thousands of years and some of them are 2000 years old created these water bodies before jcbs and bulldozers and anything like that to handle the cyclonic storms storm management not even i don't believe to that second crop of rice that may be since about 200 years there wasn't the population they wanted they didn't want to be washed away as we see can be the tendency this tanks have been started in the chola period in in the year 800 and 900 in in the south of india so india was very famous for its expertise of water conservation and in fact all the you know beautiful tanks where people are running in cambodia and everywhere they are all built by taminado knowledge people went there they built tanks they built a temple they built an entire like incredibly precise water catchment uh, system uh, and uh, which helped thousands of farmers to to grow food in india that this period of uh, of harvesting water 
and using it in agriculture. It went on for a few hundred years until, you know, slowly the Britishers and the English came and uh, messed around with the administration and with the resources. Raj, Rajendra Chola, the Chola Emperor, probably he conquered many kingdoms, but he wanted to uh, be their overlord in a maybe in a just way. Probably that's why he wanted to show this as an example. So that like, you know, even though the water comes from the territory which I conquered, but still your water is it's as seamlessly mixing with mine, like you no. Know, so we both are like brothers, like you no. Know, we are all equal, you know. That was I find it. There's a there's a great message which was left in that. Uh, he could have said like you no, know, no. These are lowly waters that has to be in an earthen pot. My water is a beautiful, like you no, know, the most valuable. So that should be in the order of hierarchy in a golden pot on the top. No, he didn't say that. He did. he asked everybody to mix the water into one well. So so this discussion is something which has started in this landscape at least thousand years before. So we are not the first people to talk about it. And it has been tried, like you no know, probably from the by the Cholas they have tried it. So we I somehow feel are a continuity of this memory. Uh, you know, a, a memory which is there in the consciousness over here. In the Chola period, the farmers they were directly included in the maintenance and in the construction of the tank and the usage of water, of the additional water that was made possible. For example, they had a method whereby they had uh, copper vessels, like these kujas, and the quantity of water in one given kuja equaled percentage-wise the area of water that was available in the tank, where there were millions of liters of water. So they figured this all out, and they perforated these vessels with small, small holes from bottom to top. And they knew that when the water was going down in the, in the copper pot, the water was also going down in the tank. Which means that the outlying farmers at the far ends had less water available than the people who lived there who had their land directly close to the tank. So they gave permission to farmers to irrigate longer and, and with more water with the area that was close to the tank. And in the other higher areas, the water sources, they, I mean, they could irrigate maybe only one crop and the others could irrigate maybe two, two and a half crops kind of thing. So that was all figured out and socially this was completely acceptable. It's all about water. This is a water civilization. Back in Oroville, we were drilling our wells by hand, yeah? Weeks on end, just turning it round. People are corkscrew into the ground. We, it's different from what we do now. We're putting up wooden windmills with sails. In the late 60s, when Oroville was started, one reason why it was possible to get the land here was that the area was devoid of vegetation. Water was running off on all, from all sides of the plateau and uh, UNESCO made a survey and said that this place is unfit for human habitation. Nevertheless, uh, land was being purchased for Oroville and incidentally this place here, Oro Brindaran, uh, was the first block of land that had been purchased in 1965. Incidentally also this is the only place in Oroville where the water table is going up rather than down. A few people of new Aurovillians, uh, people like, like Jean Tubanians and uh, uh, Vijay and uh, Johnny and you know some of these people, uh, when they came to Auroville, they applied uh, some of the uh, methods of land use and water conservation. 2015, Chennai. We saw what utility Kilometers back in the coast, millions of tons of soil already, yeah? The blood, the blood of Oroville, the body just going into the sea and saying, well, a little bit of common sense saying, hey, how can we build something if the foundations are being washed away? So then that process started, the bunding, the, yeah? But this is gardening. First of all, keep your water. Keep your water. And if there's anywhere on the planet that is a message that is to be followed. We saw the sacredness of water. We saw the sort of simplicity of some of the systems then. 
And why? Because the water table was high, high enough to do this. The whole landscape bioregion of Auroville is scattered with a lot of lakes and ponds. Literally everything man-made. I mean, the, the, the sheer uh, concept, like you know, the idea, the, the amount of manpower which would have gone in, it's like, you know, it's unimaginable. So they have given us a rich landscape with, uh, with so much of human intervention on the hope that the future, uh, uh, you know, the citizens or whatever, you know, the, the people in that region are going to take it up. So they have actually given us a valuable wealth. And it's a pity in the last 50 years we have just like, you know, lost it and just one generation has lost it. It is too mean on us to think that, you know, we could enjoy on these benefits which people have toiled and given to us. So, somewhere I think we should not take it for granted. We should take it up. And I believe the people in the bioregion, unconsciously, it resonates with them. So, it is up to us because we have decided to be uh, part of the city of the dawn. So, we have committed ourselves to the Auroville Charter. In the near when the number load a yapo may irk, number bottom lirk, number a sutirk, number a kalachar lirk, Kalila ended she quicker purpo, young a party, young a mau, grand bear in la Kaila, Urusum butani edgar pove, Gangay, Yamuna, Godaveri, Narmada, Kaveri. Ingerkara Tamra Varani, Vaika Yanger Kangla, the Cholita, and the Tanya Dutikonga. Anale Yemea Malay Lirundi, Kanya Kumri Vareko Athene Ar Halum, Number Weekly, Sangamikramadri, Aungala, Nambiki order Lang, and the Tanya Rundi, and Blenekirat.